Now, News 2 at 4. A beloved fisherman is being remembered tonight, not only as a master on the water, but as a loving husband and loving father. The body of 76-year-old Mervyn Johnson Jr. was recovered in Old Hickory Lake following an apparent drowning Wednesday. As Stephanie Langston reports, it's a tragedy that's rocked the fishing community. Give it a little jiggle and a shake and boom, generally you, you're catching a fish. We've all heard of fish tails. See that little bitty spoon right there? That's a one-eighth ounce spoon and it's tearing them up. But when it came to Merv Johnson... We are catching two-pound white bass. The stories were often true. He's a master. He's a little yellow, too. A master beyond the water. Yeah, he was on the water almost every day. We're Where probably he over as 40. a fishing guide. He's definitely one of the top guides in this area, and uh, there probably been not another one like him. Friends say Merv died where he loved to spend much of his time. It was here on Old Hickory Lake at the Saundersville boat ramp where the TWRA says Merv's boat got away from him. A witness says he jumped in and was attempting to swim the boat back when he disappeared under the water. I've been to this ramp thousands of times. Can't even fathom it. A tragedy that has left the fishing community yeah, reeling. Not only he would... Fishing won't be the same without him. Today, tells of Merv. Oh, no filter Merv. Yeah, there's no <laughs> filter, that's for sure. A Vietnam vet known for his tough love and comedic personality, who loved to boast about his wife and kids. Merv wasn't only a fisherman, but an avid hunter and cook, a role model to these fishermen who vow Merv's generosity will always live on the water. What a great guy. Yeah, I thought the world of him. Reporting from Hendersonville, Stephanie Langston, News 2. It's heartbreaking. The TWRA says Merv wasn't wearing a life jacket. His death marks the fifth boating-related fatality in Tennessee this year.